Okay, so we've been talking about how to avoid the droid, the dreaded ROI discussion. What we talked about was reducing the investment side of the equation. So if we make a mistake, it's not fatal. If you've ever played Texas Hold'em poker or even watched it on TV, we can use that as a proxy for maximizing our return by minimizing our investment. You've probably seen this on TV before. A player pushes a huge stack of chips into the center of the table and stands up and declares, I'm all in. But when does the player do that? At the beginning, before they've seen any cards? No. In fact, what they want to do early in the game is just the opposite. The player has absolutely no data, no idea whatsoever about the likelihood of literally millions of potential outcomes because they haven't seen any cards yet. This is the equivalent of trying to calculate ROI based on spreadsheets and conversations in our conference room. What do players do instead? They place just the minimum amount to earn the right to see a couple of cards. If they don't put up a little money, they don't get the right to play. Now let's say they get two aces. That's a pretty good hand. Now they're starting to get some facts. All other factors being equal, they want to find a way to get more money on the table. Now comes the flop. That's where the dealer lays down three community cards face up that any player can use to make a winning hand. And let's say the other two aces are in the flop. So the player can now make a four of a kind ace high. That's really good. Again, all factors being equal, the player wants to find a way to get more money on the table. But it's not a guaranteed win. Even four of a kind with ace high can be beaten. Maybe next hand, the player gets dealt an offsuit two and seven. It's not impossible to win with that hand, but it's pretty unlikely. The data is not pointing in a good direction. What the player is likely to do is fold and play another hand. Why is this so easy to understand in the abstract discussion of a card game, but so hard to actually do inside our conference rooms? That's what most of our conversations really are. Do we go all in or not play at all? But we can't get any cards or any data at all if we don't put a small bet in and start to play the game. Step one in maximizing ROI is minimizing our investment as we begin to replace our opinions with facts.